Welcome to one of my flips. We're here at 4224 West Creek in Dallas. And this is a flip that I just bought with a partner of mine. And let me walk you through it. So starting out front, what we're gonna do is, the brick is lovely actually, so we're gonna keep the brick. A lot of people like painting the brick. I, I like if it, as long as it looks good, I love keeping a natural brick. Um, we are going to do a charcoal trim, which is going to go with the color scheme of the interior. And we're replacing these front doors with something just a little bit more contemporary to brighten it up. Also, the, the color of the door is going to be that charcoal color. So, John, with John Haller's Construction, is going to be overseeing this project. How's it going, John? Good. How are you, Josh? Good to see you and, and thanks for doing this for us. John and I have worked together on another big project and did a great job, an amazing job, highly recommended. And I definitely wanted him to work with me on this one. So um, just gonna walk through the design aspect. So uh, John, you actually uh, suggested this flooring product. So this is a, uh, an engineered hardwood and I think the, the color scheme is great. It's nice and bright. It has that natural white oak look, but it does have some grays in it. So it gives us some flexibility on the color scheme that, that we're able to use. So I think this is a, a great choice for the flooring. So this is gonna be throughout the first floor going this way. As you can see, uh, the, the, the flooring is currently going horizontally like this. Uh, often, with few exceptions, you want the wood, uh, the wood grain to follow the path of travel to elongate the room. So we're going to have it go this way. Absolutely. We have a, a, a great floor plan here. So we're not doing a whole lot of opening up or, or nope. room changing, right? Nope. Just one spot. We're yeah. Gonna be opening yeah. Up let's let's here. let's talk about that. This home was built in the 90s and, you know, floor plans and lifestyles were a little different then. So as such, you have this more closed off kitchen, as you see here, that's, that really separates it from the living room. So wh what were we planning on doing in here? So we're going to open this wall up from here uh, over to this wall. And when we do that, we'll be able to create a peninsula uh, to modernize it and just open it up to give it a flow. People here uh, working, they'll be able to see people come around the corner as soon as they come in uh, the front of the house. So we wanted to do that, just give it a little bit more open uh, concept and feel for what's kind of taking place right now in the market. Awesome, awesome, and, and that'll give us some seating at the peninsula and that'll, that'll offer uh, a large surface area for the kitchen, yeah, right? for prepping, cooking, hanging out, uh, enjoying company on a Friday night, sitting around in, at the peninsula, so. Awesome. Should awesome. We've great. got formal dining in there. We have a wonderful backyard with a pool. We'll get to that a little bit later. Um, in here, uh, we're just dressing up the fireplace, right? Yeah. It's good yeah. to go. We're just, we're just repainting, putting on a different mantle. And, yeah, and just a cleaner, more square, modern, kind of to help with that transition between traditional and a little bit of modern, just kind of marry that together. Awesome. All right. We've got a nice office here. This is actually a really good size. You got high ceilings in here, the built-in bookcases. We're just cleaning this up. We're going to have that uh, white oak look engineered hardwood in here. And we're just brightening the room up with some lighter paint. We're going to be painting this built-in bookcase and just freshening the room up. Not much to do in here, uh, except for the ceiling fan. That's got to go. Yeah. So over here, we've got our first bath. It's a half bath. Just a two-piece bath with a 24-inch vanity and a toilet. We're going to be replacing those and freshening up with some tile and some new paint. Mind the mess in here. Thankfully, this is all going away. We're carrying the white oak through the, the primary suite. Good size in here. And again, like with most of the house, you've got the high ceilings. Really good size primary suite in here. And this is actually another tile that, that you suggested which I think works great with the color scheme that we have. What size is this? Uh, that's 18 by 36. Okay, so this is a larger format tile than you typically see, but as large as the primary bath is, I think it actually works well in here. And again, the, the color scheme with the, the grays and there's a little bit of taupe tone in here, mm -hmm. that, that'll tie in everything we're using, which we're sticking with beiges, grays, taupes mm -hmm. with a black and white accent, yep. which is really popular, sells really well, and that's why we're doing it here. So I think this will go well. Um, we're replacing this garden tub 
with a freestanding unit, which will actually give us some more space, right? Because yep. these garden tubs, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of space all the way around that once you replace that with a freestanding, you don't need any more. So right. that gives us more space to grow the shower. Yeah, we're we gonna bring it out a little bit this way and, and push it back a little bit that way just to give about eight or 10 inches each way of uh, more space in there with some seamless glass and take the tile up to eight feet, give it a little bit uh, bigger appearance and, and, a, and a bigger look overall. Nice, nice. So. And, and that's what, you know, 99% of, of uh, you know, the homeowners, that's what they're gonna be using anyways, the shower yep. versus mm -hmm. the tub. You know, the, the wives always want the tub, but you know, only once a month are they gonna actually yeah. use it, if that. So uh, a new double vanity over here. Um, just replace the toilet in the water closet, paint, new mirrors. Um, I think, I think this will make for a great master suite when it's, once it's done. Absolutely. They actually have resurfaced it recently. You've got this beautiful pebble tech. You can see the, the deep color. It's got some really good texture on it. But if you can get a shot, we have some missing tiles. And at first glance, when you, when you see tiles in that bad of shape, you just assume that the whole thing needs to be redone. But what happened here is in the deep freeze, the, the expansion of the water behind the tiles actually popped it off. So the rest of the pool was unaffected. We just have to replace the tiling around. Yeah. So w what are we going with for, for the tile here? Just a just kind of standard, standard We're just going to do a, a little bit of a darker blue that's really going to pull this, uh, the pebble deck out in here. So we'll just do a nice, clean, standard size uh, blue all the way around to just deepen the, the look of the pool with the, with the pebble deck to pull it together. Awesome, so. awesome. So, I mean, for, for what you may expect with a house where the rest of it is in a certain condition, this was a, a nice surprise to find that the pool and the equipment itself was actually in, in pretty good condition. Yeah. And the fences as well, all we're doing there is we're going to restain it with a topper and kind of clean up the landscape and back here. So uh, with, with something that could be a big ticket item on a rehab this large, um, this is graciously low budget on the exterior. So we're really thankful for that. Yeah, just a little bit of siding repairs like we talked about. And then uh, we'll give this a uh, power wash and caulk it and get a nice nice new color on it that'll really make it pop from the street you know going all the way around so and, we're, and are we carrying the trim color back here to the siding or are we going with a two-tone uh, siding and trim back here uh i think we might go with a two-tone back here to make it to make it stand out and pop around the windows and that type of stuff the one by four so and and this is this is something i can't stress enough it is it's easy to find a contractor right it's easy to find a contractor that works well you know, numbers wise and just their, their business model works well with, you know, rehab projects like this and flips. But one thing that is integral to a good relationship between your general contractor and the investor on getting multiple of these projects done and hitting your absolute top dollar is someone who can provide feedback. This is something that, you know, an extra set of eyes on, an extra set of, of uh, you know, a, a different perspective for design sense, and uh, oh, by the way, or oh, maybe have you thought of this, can turn, you know, a good rehab into a great rehab, or, uh, you know, uh, that's really nice to a real wow factor. So uh, I, I, I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for all the input you provided so Thank far. You. Last, let's go upstairs. This is a four bed, three and a half full bath property so upstairs we've got three bedrooms and two full baths so right here at the top of the stairs we have this big open game room bonus room multi-purpose room however you want to use it second living room right and it's a good size we're going to open it up a little bit just by taking out this built-in because it's in such rough shape but we decided to keep this bench seating because it has storage, we're going to put some cushions on that because that, that's something that I think anybody could mm -hmm. use regardless of what they decide to do with it. But beyond that, we're just giving it a cosmetic facelift with paint and cleaning up what's here, right? Yeah, we're going to take out the old uh, square lights and put in the new LEDs, make it nice, adjustable, five settings, you know. Um, and then we are going to do, you know, the railing. 
Uh, we'll take that out, put a nice white oak uh, handrail, and then the black uh, wrought iron spindles in there to, f to freshen that up. So that would be a nice What, what you mean? Addition. We're not keeping this nice, curvy, we're not, molded We're wood. not keeping that. Nope, nope, not on this one. No, yeah, I, I think the uh, just the, the slim iron, black iron spindles with the white oak, I mean, it's an easy way to modernize what could be easily seen as an eyesore because this is something that you see as soon as you come in and anytime you're walking around the second floor here it's it's right there and it's an easy way to date the space right yeah. so why not just give it an and easy the white will tie it nicely with the floors just keeping that flow coming through the whole house absolutely so. absolutely in, in a consistent design uh template carried throughout the house right. really feels like that's how it's supposed to be rather than you know do this in this bathroom that in that bathroom do quartz here granite there and try and leave this here while updating that it just makes it choppier and even if it's not super obvious to buyers as they walk through they subconsciously notice it right yeah so absolutely it just I totally doesn't agree. feel like it was piecemeal together it's just a really well done uh remodel I, excellent excellent so all right so next we have the three bedrooms which are pretty standard N not not much to do but clean them up we're going to put a, a nice berber carpet up here with mm -hmm. what are we doing a six pound or eight pound eight pat? pound moisture barrier eight pound, pound. Yep. okay so that gives it a, a a cushier more premium feel we've got one three-piece bathroom in here so we're going to replace the vanity toilet tub and surround and then if you want to follow me back here We've got a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's a little narrow, so we'll see if we can fit it all with two 48-inch vanities. So this, this room has their own vanity. That room has their own vanity with the toilet and the tub and shower surround in the middle. So again, we're just giving it a facelift. We're just replacing this with new vanities, mm -hmm. a tile floor, and modernizing this with the same sort of palette that we're using in Absolutely, the rest of the yeah. bathroom. Just keep it clean and, and uh, that transitional from completely traditional to modern, that happy medium. Excellent, excellent. So, you know, this is a pretty straightforward rehab. We're not, apart from the kitchen, we're not doing really any floor plan changes. Nope. We're not having to do any structural changes. So this is, we call it mostly, a mostly cosmetic facelift. And right. uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. It, we're, we're hoping for a quick turnaround time. Yep. Maybe around that, that eight week would yep, be amazing. That's the goal is eight weeks. And um, we'll let you know. Uh, it, it, we'll, we'll update you on the progress as it goes. We're going to do several progress videos on this. And when we hit a snag, we always do a case study video on, hey, we didn't notice this initially, but here's a snag we hit. There's always going to be oh, those, I right? Can't see behind the walls. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Don't know until you start opening stuff up. So. Yeah. Um, again, thank you for your help yeah, appreciate and uh, we'll keep you updated as progress continues and there's going to be an amazing reveal. I can't wait for this to go on the yeah. market in early fall and I uh, can't wait to see how it shakes out. Thank yeah, you very much. Josh. Thanks Josh for the opportunity. Absolutely.